Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Meryl and in today's video, kind of sad. I wanted to do an updated foundation routine because I've changed a couple products, I've added in a couple products, I've been hurt by a product. And that product is this Bite Beauty Foundation. I will no longer be using it. As you can tell from the casualties on my face. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm really sad that I can't use this product anymore, but it's been breaking my skin out pretty, pretty bad recently. So, so I've earlier I applied some face oil just to my dry patches, like in this area. Mostly, 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 and mostly, like mostly and mainly are the words I was trying to go for there. <laughs> and mostly is what was what came out of my mouth there. So that's good. Off to a great little start there, but cool. Anyways, so I earlier I've applied a little bit of face oil right to the center area of my face where it gets really dry and a little bit on my forehead. And I also applied some Cetaphil moisturizer with an SPF 15 in it. Um, and I like those products together and it makes my skin feel nice and juicy. Um, so the next product that I the first product that I wanted to show you guys that is new to my um, foundation routine is this e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And I really like it. I haven't used a primer in like quite a while. A primer I used to use was the Smashbox Primerizer Primer. Primerizer Primer, oh my god. <laughs> Say primer one more time, please. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And it's really, really nice. It's, I'll show you. So this is what it looks like. And it's really like creamy and velveting, velvety feeling on your face. And it just feels so, so good. So I'm gonna take that and apply it to my face. But yeah, so I used to use the Smashbox Primerizer <laughs> primer. Um, and these are, they feel very different. That one, the uh, Smashbox one literally feels like a moisturizer. And this one does feel like it is slightly pore filling, which I am pretty happy about because in, especially my nose area and my chin, I feel like I have larger pores in those areas. So this does a nice job of filling them in before I start applying product, more products to my face. Take a look at my skin. So I've got this fucking guy who has been here. He's, cam he's been camping out for about probably almost two weeks now. Like this fucking thing will not go away and I don't know what it is. It is driving me crazy. I've got this new guy on my nose. I don't think I've ever gotten a pimple on the side of my nose. I always in high school, I would have like on the tip of my nose and people would call me Rudolph because kids are fucking jerks. And I've kind of narrowed my breakout situation Okay, so I've narrowed down my breakout situations to this motherfucker. It is a sad day in my life because I can no longer use this. Um, and I've also read a lot of other people who have had problems with this foundation as well, breaking out their skin. And I think that it's because there is coconut oil in it. So unfortunately, this has to depart my life, which I'm so sad about because it's such a beautiful foundation. Like, oh, I mean, if you've watched any of my recent videos where I've talked about this foundation, you will see how much I love it. But this is the only thing I've changed recently in my life. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> but that sounded weird. Uh, this is like the only thing that I've really changed um, that would cause me to be breaking out, I think. So I'm gonna self-diagnose. It's not the right word, but I think you guys know what I mean. Um, I'm not gonna use this anymore, which I'm very sad about. And I mean, if I still continue to break out over the next couple weeks and these don't go away and like it's maybe just not this foundation, then I'll go back to using it. But I think it is this foundation, which is so sad. So maybe if Bite Beauty wants to make a new foundation with 
for sensitive skin. That would be cool because it's a great product. Like I love, 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 love the foundation. It's so nice, but my skin doesn't like it. So I'm gonna have to side with my skin on this one. I'm gonna take my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is in the shade light to medium. Just pat this under my circles here. Okay, next we're gonna go in with our concealer. This has not given me any troubles. Oh, I mean, I changed, no. It can, there's no way it could be this. There's no, absolutely no way. I will not allow it to be this that it's breaking me out. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab some under my eyes. I'm also going to spot conceal with this. So I'm just dab this little guy here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this sponge and pat it in. Wow, look at that zit. Look at what it's doing. <laughs> it's because I picked it earlier, so I guess it's like wet. And the concealer just totally fucked off from it. Can you see it? Oh, how do you even do that? There. Does that work? Looks like there's a hole in my fucking face. Cute. Oh, fucking fix that. Okay, I'm gonna put another layer of concealer on this bit and see if it helps. And if it does not, then I will switch my method. I'm just gonna pat that in there. No, it's not working. Okay. Just making sure everything is all blended in here. <clears throat> and since I can't use this product anymore because my skin fucking hates it, I have switched back to my Smashbox 15 hour wear studio skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. This is, that's a fucking mouthful. Okay, that foundation. And this is in the shade 1.05 Fair. And I love this foundation. Like, honestly, I loved the Fight Beauty foundation, but I also love this um, Smashbox foundation. So I'm not sad that I have to go back to this foundation. I'm just sad that I can't use the Bite foundation because that was like my favorite, I think, foundation I've ever used. Anyways, put that to rest because not coming back anytime soon. Anyway, okay, so I'm taking my foundation on this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This is a great brush for foundation. So I'm gonna start in the middle of my forehead and just kind of pat the product in and then start to stipple it around. And I will blend it out with a beauty sponge. Kind of been liking applying my foundation with a brush and then blending it out with a, a sponge after because with the brush it um, gives you really good payoff uh, whereas if you apply it with a beauty sponge which I still do sometimes like both techniques are really good it just kind of depends on what look you're going for I guess anyways if you apply it with a brush it doesn't take away any of the pigmentation Whereas if you apply it with a sponge, it kind of removes some of the coverage. And I have dry skin. I feel like I've said that before, but do I need to say that in every video? I don't know. I have dry skin. Okay, so I'm going to take my beauty sponge. This is my Real Techniques blending sponge. And just kind of pat everything in and make sure there's no streaks from the uh, brush. It does not want to be hidden, which is not okay. Please get the fuck off my face, girl. You're not welcome. Okay, so I bought this new powder. This is another new product that I've been using recently, which I am a very big fan of. This is um, the CoverGirl True Blend Pressed Powder, and I have this in the shade 2. This is the nice packaging, and 
and this is what the product looks like inside. And I'm just gonna take it, it comes with this little sponge that I have used, but it's kind of firm, a little bit too dense for my liking. So I have this other little sponge with a little slip in the back. I don't know where I got this from, honestly, probably this Japanese makeup store, or this Japanese kind of dollar store in Vancouver, I think it's called Yoko Yaya. And I think I got that this there. They have, if you are living in the Vancouver area and you need like any kind of little knickknack ever you could ever possibly imagine, they have it at that store. It's an international village if you need to check that out. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna take the sponge with the powder on it and press it into my zit on my nose. And just hope that it gets covered. I'm so annoyed with it. And I'm gonna stop touching it now because it's starting to look. Okay, this is a nose piercing hole, so don't mind that hole. But <laughs> that other one is the zit. We did our best. And honestly, it's on the side of my nose, so it's probably not as noticeable as I think it is. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and not fuck around with it anymore because I don't normally wear too much powder because I do have dry skin. So I don't wanna overdo it on the powder because it's not gonna be cute. It's not gonna be cute, all right? That's pretty fucking sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows while I wait for this whole situation to kind of settle in and settle into my skin. Um, and I did the soap brows in my last video and I like it, it's fine, it works, but I have the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel and recently, for like the last week or so, I've just been kind of putting some, where are you? I've been, Swiping some of the product onto my palette. There's a fucking hair. Right there. And right there. <laughs> and I've just been taking that on a an eyebrow brush and doing my brows with it. And it's been working great. And it's kind of like the soap brow and um and a pigment in one because this is a gel obviously dip brow gel uh, so it's very pigmented and it also has a pretty good hold so my brow hairs stay in place i don't like this wand i think that it applies too much product so i like to put it onto my palette and do it that way instead the brush i've been using is my smith 203 brush and it's just like a great little short bristled dense eyebrow brush and you can also use this for eyeliner as well um, and I also did tint my eyebrows a couple of days ago. If you want to check that out, you can go to my Instagram and look at my Instagram TV because I put a little video on there how to tint your eyebrows. Anyways, so since I've tinted my eyebrows, they are a little bit darker than they normally are. Obviously, that's what a fucking tint is. So I've just been focusing the product in the outer area of my brow because the front of it is pretty, I'm pretty happy with the color there. And just little hair like strokes. I have this dip brow gel in the shade soft brown. Okay. And now I'm gonna move on to the rest of the face. I love my Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer, but it's a bit warm. So I've been kind of going back between that one and this Fenty uh, contour stick. This is the Match Sticks in the shade Amber. And this is a great little bronzer. It's very, it's nice and cool tone. So it does, it's like, it has like more of like a shadow effect, more like a carved out kind of. take some down my nose but since I have this fucking zit just chilling um, I'm gonna avoid putting any more product on my nose and also like a sweeping brush on it because that will remove any of the coverage that we do have on the little friend it is not my friend it is like it's an enemy not a friend let's get that fucking straight 
Next, I'm gonna go in with my blush. Oh my God, am I an idiot or what? Do you remember all those videos that, oh my fucking God. Do you remember all those videos where I wasn't able to tell you the name of this fucking blush? Well, check that out. It's got a little sticker on the side. Who would have thunk it? Not me, I never even have ever looked at that sticker. Wow, what a realization. I'm honestly shocked at how oblivious I am. Um, so that's good, that's really great. I don't know what to tell you, I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's move on. Um, I honestly, I honestly have never looked at that sticker. And anytime I needed to know what the fucking blush was called, I would just Google it. Because I remembered it was like peachy something. If I just looked at the packaging, I could have known. Ooh, is this a bad idea? Yes, I'm gonna avoid any products on my nose right now because of that fucker. Okay, okay, okay. And this brush is the Real Techniques blush brush. And it's quite big, but I, I like it for, it feels nice putting on blush. It's like boop, boop, boop. Next, we're gonna go in with some fucking pocket. I almost said foundation. I'm like, bitch, this ain't foundation. This ain't foundation. This is highlighter though. And I'm going in with my Kaja Moshi Glow highlighter. And this is in the shade Toy Alien. And it's so beautiful. I'm sorry that I did that. Um, I don't sing ever and I don't know why I did that. And I can't sing. Okay. That's just so pretty. There we go. I love this highlighter. Oh, I forgot to put fucking powder under my eyes. Because I rarely do it and I've recently started, but I obviously just forgot, so I'll do it in a minute. I always put highlighter here. I'm just gonna not touch the zit, okay? Just stay far away from the zit. I'm taking this little powder, the CoverGirl. CoverGirl, ow, Cover. Cover Girl True Blend Pressed Powder in the shade 2. And I'm taking it on this little spongy sponge I got here. And not a whole lot of product, just a little bit. And I'm gonna press it under my eyes. And I've really been liking doing this recently um, for reasons such as I think I've mentioned it I, I have mentioned it before but because I find that my under eyes are like I have quite dark circles so without this powder they're just kind of like a highlight a shine area from the cream products so when I put this powder on it it obviously mattifies it and it looks less as like an indent into my face, you see? And it's just less of like a sunken in socket, I guess you could say. What else do I do to my face? Oh, I don't have any chapstick here. Whatever, I'll drink some water instead. Drink some water today, everybody. done really I just have to put some setting spray on which I should have used a different one but this one will do because it's literally empty now so okay I'm gonna take my Mac fix plus and spray my face with it I'm scared because it's getting so close to the end of this bottle and there's been like droplets flying at my face so let's just hope for the best here and there's not a lot left, so I can't really test it out because I don't want to run out of it. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and do it. It's like I'm really, why am I so scared to say okay. Oh my God, it's almost out, okay. 
see what I mean? Look at my lip. It's just a fucking lump. <laughs> I just have to skip the spray because I'm not gonna go get a different one. Yeah, it's too. Let's bring it into my cat's tree. Oh, there's a good spray. Fuck. <laughs> Why? Why? you guys this is my updated foundation routine um oh I kicked the thing did it go fucking crooked or has it been crooked this whole time <sighs> I don't know don't know okay 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 uh, I'm gonna do another video with the space on and I'm gonna do something in my eyes so that's why I anyways okay thank you guys so much for watching my video today if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I said I was going to post every Wednesday and Saturday, but I feel like Saturdays are not a good day to post. Um, so I think I'm going to switch my shit up to Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, this will still be posted on a Wednesday, but I will probably post my next video on a Friday. So put that into your calendar or don't. I mean, I don't know. Eh. You don't have to, but you can if you want. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about that now. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you for watching my video today. If you've had any issues with this bite foundation, please let me know about it because I want to know if I'm the only one. I mean, I already know I'm not the only one, but I want to know what your experiences are with this foundation. So if you loved it like I did, but then it fucked up your face like I did for me, up your face is an extreme it's just as it it's just as it it's not the end of the world I know zits are annoying um, I know I know that they are and why can't we all just have clear ass fucking skin you know I don't know I don't have the answer for you I wish I had the answer but guys so much for watching my video today if you have any video ideas for me let me know I'll let your girl know I I mean I have some ideas but if there's anything you're dying to see me talk about I have like 12 subscribers like 36 actually okay well I need to stop filming this video now because I'm running out of time and I have another one to film so see you guys later